Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Now I can put it back in, because I got my man Ryan, and we're going to go down here, we're going to watch Ryan, we're going to see him at work. He is, I'm going to follow him like this, so that we can actually see where he's going. Travels over this way, he's got a long route to take, isn't he? I need to do that in order to be able to see the tunnel. Heading for Victoria Street. Okay. Now we'll come out of there and I'll follow him like this again. Around that way. We've got a long way to go past the industrial construction site over there. Down this way and then back into this so that we can follow the actual tunnel all the way through. He came in pretty quick, didn't he? He came in pretty quick, so now we're out this way. We're going to be seeing the train go by in a minute. No, we're not. The train isn't running. I've had the trains parked up over there for a little bit now. And they're not doing any freight distances. They're just not travelling now. Does that not count? Reducing railway freight distances. Over this side. And now we're on up into the small areas of the countryside. And this was the bit where it was going to put the bridge. We ne Do you see that? We nearly hit the fox. We nearly ran over a fox. We don't want to be doing that. All the way up. Right up into the hills. It's actually quite nice. Bravo. You've successfully purged the surrounding region of pests. That little bit of poison in the soil layers certainly won't inhibit plant growth. It's quite the opposite. Uh, okay. Right, well, we managed to do that one. Now, my man Ryan, over here, whilst he's been out on this excursion, it's been absolutely wonderful seeing him here and everything, but we need to move him. He's got to go back, manage vehicles over here. Line 15. Ryan, my dude, you need to go back onto line 11. There. So you head back over there, and line 15, so I need to go back to line manager now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that line completely. Start that up. So he's going to go scurrying back off down there. Reducing the railway freight distances. I don't think it counts because I've stopped the trains. I think they're going to say that's uh, cheating, and they're not going to let me do that. I thought I was being really clever with that. I thought that was a really, really good idea, and it was going to work really, really well. But they've, um, they've obviously anticipated me trying to think outside the box, and, they, and they, they've disallowed it. So I've got to come up with something else. Let's get rid of them. Right, that's, that's, that's that bit all done. It's because I got zero freight, isn't it? That's why I got zero freight. And the reason I got zero freight is because this train here is also not running. So what I'm going to need to do... So I'm going to need to go back to Kato Barke over here, and I'm going to need to unstop him. And Dustin Eisenchenk there. I wonder if I can do this with one train running. Well, I've actually got two trains running, because Peter Heap technically is still running. But I don't know if they're going to allow it. I got a lot of goods on board this train here. So they may decide that that is just too much. Right, he's coming into there. And he's stopping. But then he's loading up a huge amount of goods on top of there. I'm going to get you. See, I've already gone over that limit. I've already gone over the 100 odds on there. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Right, let Kato Barke start running again now. And then what I'll do is I'll stop him in the station over here. Because that's now we've gone to the end of the month. So if I go to there and then I stop him again. Just like that. I don't do anything different now. We'll see whether or not that is actually going to work. So then I've got to collect steel from the farms. Industrial... I've got more options for things to build here as well. We've got farm, food factory, goods factory, chemical plant, machine factory, farm for steel. Right, that the farm for steel breaks down the goods that we get from the grain, doesn't it? 
That was what that was doing. So I could this time. I don't know if I want to break that one down. Ah. Reduce the railway distances. I did manage to do that. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Get rid of that one. And then I come back over here. And it's... There's the train. That's the one that I want. Start that one up again. And then I've got this station down over here. I will start that one up again. We will allow them to run. So now I need to do collecting steel. Switch at least one farm to steel production and collect 50 steel from the farmers. So I've got one farm that I need to change. I don't need to change very much then, do I? Just one farm. I've got that one there, which is bringing a load of grain into central line in here. Or I've got this. I think we'll change this one. I think we will change that one. Farm for steel. There. So that will take machine parts into there and then turn those into steel on there and then melting down machines regretfully is a lack of raw materials deliver machines to the farms to increase steel production that so you here machine factory collect steel uh, switch at least one farm to steel production and collect 50 steel Farm for steel. Okay, I've got that right. So both of those will come up at the same time. It's only that one there, the lines for importing machines, that really is going to be any kind of issue. I suppose I could change that industrial complex there to something different. I don't think I need to, though. So we now need to wait for goods to be delivered in here. Mind blower DK. Right, where are those goods coming from? They come from over this side. They come from here. So they will come out onto there. Line 10 is the one that we're looking at there. If I go to line 10, that's the one that runs all the way into Lower Zigong over there. Um, from Jiang. And that one, cargo 50 of 65, 5 of 13. We should get those traveling through. And then eventually the trains should start bringing in more goods into here, which will in turn then go on to these lines over there. And travel up through... Right, see over here I've got one machine part for Chengdu there. So I need plenty of machine parts. Right, I've got machine parts in here. There's one there for... This station here is a problem. I got so much grain here. There's no room for any other goods on this station at the moment. Right, that's actually a serious concern that I have right now. Where are we taking... I'm bringing grain... I'm bringing grain from that one over there. But I'm not taking grain from anywhere else. Right, well in come the trains. You've come into here. And what are you doing? You're you're just coming in. You're loading up a whole load of grain and then you're going to head off again. So we're going to follow you for a minute. We're going to see what you're doing with all of this grain. Because now that I've got less grain being produced, that should help to clear some of this backlog. I'm hoping, at least. Right here we should bring in a massive boatload of grain in here. I'm hoping that we will unload a lot of this. Yep. Okay, that's, that's unloaded about half of it. And then the other half will head all the way down through the tunnel down over there. And that will be swapped over for goods down there. That's what will happen with that. And then as soon as we're finished with that, this city here, I don't actually have any supplies coming in there at all. I've got no deliveries or anything really that's happening in there, have I? And that's something else that we ought to be taking care of. So there goes all the rest of the... Actually, no, there's still 10 grain being left behind. I have got 70, 80 machine parts coming up here. But the station that we want to drop those machine parts in is currently clogged up with grain. And that's something that we're going to have to be aware of. Something that is causing us a slight problem. You're coming out here. Oh, no, that one's going in that side. So you do have to pause. Then he's on his way again. 
the bread here, that's not an issue. So he will go up here and he will collect some of his bread, I suspect. If he's able to. And he's also collecting a little bit of the grain as well. So we've got a small amount of grain in there. We haven't got anything else, just a small amount of grain. And we've got 68 machine parts. And then we're up here to Ziang Station. Now, I got a load of machine parts, but this is the one here. Like, I am absolutely chock-a-block with grain in here. There is too much grain in this station. I just loaded a load up right there. I've unloaded machine parts here, some machine parts. But there's no room for machine parts here at all. Right, they unloaded machine parts there, but there isn't actually room on the station because of the sheer quantity of grain. I've, oh, no, no, it's okay. They're unloading the machine parts on here, but what they're doing is they're taking them off elsewhere. You go flying straight through. You don't actually affect it. The machine parts go straight out onto here and then get taken off to the right place. So I've now got machine parts heading over here. Mindblower DK is carrying 13 machine parts. So he is racing off through here, collecting steel, melting down machines. That one load there should be enough to complete that bit. And then we're going to start collecting steel. Like obviously, the, the steel will be delivered back in a minute. Now, where are you going? Yeah, you're going to that one, which is close enough to this one. So he's unloaded all of those into there. And there comes the melting down machines. Right, see that? That's coming into here. I got eight, seven of them stored. And we've done that one. That's finished already. Boom. A remarkable achievement. You've launched a Sputnik, as they say in the party. Headquarters awards you a medal for extraordinary services. Nice one. I still don't know what this one is, the whole hushing up the activities. Getting rid of the line you previously... Be I don't know what line they mean. I, I'm genuinely confused about that bit. So now I've got to uh, collect steel from the farmers. So I've got steel here is coming in and us producing steel. It's going to be putting steel out over there, I'm assuming, at some point soon. Um, so I've got Jarrah's plumber right there. He doesn't have anything. But what about you over there? James Billy, you don't have anything either. Jarrah's plumber. Can't wolf. Mind blower DK. Right, nobody at the moment is taking steel out of here. I need you to be taking steel out of here. So, machine import warehouse. I've got machines coming in. Right there, I can see they're coming in. Track construction factory. Overview. Production. Shipment zero. That's the one that they will be taking them to. We've just got to bring in the machine parts. I'm not quite sure how this works. Have I got to get all 100 in there before it will do anything else? Toxic Bravo. I think he's just brought in some. No, that stayed the same. That wolf has got 13 more machine parts. Those are going to come in Maybe that is... I, I don't know if I've got to actually change anything else round in order to get steel. I don't think I do. I think this is all I need to worry about. Um, we just wait until it produces those on there. And then the... So those 13 have unloaded. And then I've got the consumption coming in here. But why aren't you producing steel? This is what this does. It says it produces steel right here. So I got... Oh, that was even more coming in. And then... Jarrah's plumber, no, Jarrah's plumber didn't have any. James Billy did have a load. Khan Wolf doesn't have any. And now we got eight. I can only assume that that has got to fill up to 100 before it allows us to do anything else. I've got supplies of machines coming in. Track construction. That one goes over there. So this needs steel. You over here, you require steel. Suppliers. Chonking Steelworks Industrial Construction. That's the one there. So far, it's got nothing. And I need it to produce more steel. Bring that all the way over. Eventually, 
I'm sure you will be able to produce some steel, so then we can go in it. Consumption 42. 40. Ooh! That's, that's dropping. I'm assuming that that dropping is a good thing. I'm assuming that that must be a good thing. If it's dropping down, it means that it's consumption stored. Means it's using stuff up. Uh, it's not a good thing at the moment. Chen, Wait. Mao Zedong proclaims the great leap forward. Despite all efforts, there is currently a bottleneck in the supply of goods and in agricultural production. The only way to get past it is by establishing industries in the agricultural communities and the large-scale irrigation of areas being farmed. Tackle these tasks promptly. The construction of irrigation systems is imperative toward achieving the aspired production increase in the agricultural sector. Deliver 200 steel and 100 machines to build the dam. I knew the dam would need to be done at some point. I knew the dam would be a thing at some point. So what we will do here is we will build another truck stop up here and then we will have a separate truck stop to go for just another truck line which will go from here up to the dam and we will also do some upgrades on here as well so we go into here like that and i will build a truck station <coughs> i will build a truck station in there uh there, like that. I can actually bring that truck station back down this way a little bit, like that. Yeah, let's put it there. Right. Truck station can go right there. I don't need to do anything else because we're not going to be taking stuff away from this truck station. We're only going to be doing deliveries. So that will make this job a little bit easier. I don't think we need to upgrade that road. I was tempted to upgrade that road, but I don't think that we need to do that. We do, however, want to make a new line. This is going to be another line 15. It's going to go from Chongqing East over there over to Chongqing Annex. Right there like that. So, don't need to do anything else on there. Then I want to buy vehicles. We need to go to the Chongqing Road Depot, buy vehicles in here. We want these, this 150 flatbed truck. We will buy eight. I'm going to go for ten of these. We're going to we're going to really go for supplying this dam with everything we possibly can. That that is the whole point of this. Is we really want to get this dam being supplied. Grizzly Bear Sim. Oh, hang on. Alan Hickman, Dodecahedron, Golem Ender, Grizzly Bear Sims, Illidan Two, Jet Coder, Cough Baron, Shuffle Snake and Cactus, and Varinki are all going to be given uh, that colour. There. A lilac type colour. And you're all going to be assigned to line 15. So then I'm going to go and have a look in here. And I want to make sure that line 15... Obviously we've got nothing on it right this second. But I want to go to terminals. Line 5 is over there. So we've got our terminal over there. Now I am wondering if we should seriously consider... An additional road out the back. Is that going to make any difference to the performance of all of this? Because I have these trucks constantly queued up to get in. But is it really slowing things down a great deal? I don't think it is. Not all that much. It might be a little bit. But I don't think it's particularly slowing anything down at the moment. Now line 15 is... Yeah, that's not got anything coming in just yet. Line 1 down here is choked up with way too much copper ore in there. Uh, iron ore, rather. So it's also choked up with other things on here which end up getting lost. Which is not ideal, but it's alright. The condition of Eric King is very poor. Eric King, you're in a bad way, apparently. Right, I think what I'm going to do, in order for Eric King... What I'm, I'm actually going to do that, and then I'm going to replace all... I know that I recently doubled them all, so a lot of these are brand new vehicles. But I'm just going to replace all of them. 
And we're going to replace them all with the flatbed trucks like that. Replace for three million dollars. The addition of multiple vehicles is very poor. Replace. Yeah, every single one has been replaced now. And I am going to colour them all yellow. Yeah. Okay. That is looking good. That is looking very swish. They've all been replaced. Does that mean that all they're all like I got all these new vehicles suddenly pouring out of the road? Where is the road depot, by the way? Oh, it's there. There's my road, the Chongqing Road Depot. But they've all been replaced. All these yellow ones. Where, where are they? They're all over here. Uh, there. Details. Age two minutes. Right, Riley is looking pretty good, considering he's only two minutes old. We have one steel has now been delivered. So if we have a look on here, uh, line 15's got nothing on there. Um, we've got one steel delivered so far. We're getting there. Right, the condition of right is sepulous is very poor. This is line one. So we will do the same as what we did just now. We will go there and then we will replace selected vehicles. With those, the condition of Tom the Yank is very poor. Tom the Yank is also in this lot. Replace all of the selected vehicles and we will colour them all in again so that we can identify them easily. They've got to have their identifiers. There. So that is the, both of those lines now replaced. Look at the queue of vehicles we've got coming in here. Right, now I've only got one line that runs up that way. All the rest of them run out this side. Uh, if I was to build another bridge across here, would that help? I don't think that would help, but what might help is an extra road out the back. So if I go here and I put a street access, one building will be removed. Really? Just got to remove the building to put that in? It doesn't if I put it over there. I'll put the street access over that side and get rid of that one. And then I will go here into Le Vehicles and we will take just a regular country road out here. And then that one is going to go over there like that. There. Okay. So now I've got a rear entrance on that one, which means that the green trucks at least will start using that instead of using this front line. I think all of the other trucks are coming from this direction down here, so it's not going to make any difference to them. But with the green ones at least being removed from that little line, it might make life a little bit easier. I notice that the green ones are still coming out from this side, but they are coming in from the top end, which is apparently enough to reduce the congestion down on here just a smidgen. Still, it's not great though, is it? Like that isn't that isn't wonderful. We, we've definitely done better than that. And deliver the machines and the steel up here. I need a lot more than that. I need a lot more than that. We're going to have to open up the other steel works, I think. I think that would be the way forward, is if we open up the second steel works. I mean, what's, what's the trains? Uh, the trains aren't going to be bringing steel in, are they? You've brought up some machine parts. Mostly you're loading them up and carting them away again. <laughs> it's not very helpful to me. Uh, well, I've got I've got, I've got a number of bits on here. I've got like I got one bit of steel in there. That is the only thing that I've got. Now I've got oh four steel. Oh no, they are they are bringing steel up now. We're we're starting to get that flowing up through. Bringing it up to here so it gets to the dam construction site. So we're slowly bringing it up and using it. It'll be interesting to see if the dam does construct slowly across as it get like in step by step stages as it gets some of the goods, or if it's just going to be like one big thing that'll be finished right at the end. Uh, also, it'll be interesting to see if the dam is. Oh yeah, the buildings are on this side. I was wondering if after all of this they were going to flood the um, flood this valley. Like if that was all going to be flooded out, that that would be quite a thing. That would that would genuinely be quite a thing. 
Uh, I'm not sure that I'd want that all to be flooded out. That, that, that is quite a substantial amount of flooding. So I've got the cows over here. They don't need to be changed, I don't think. We've got enough grain coming through that's going to keep the machine imports going. Uh, keep that traveling round. Possibly the only thing that we want to consider doing is connecting in the coal mine and the iron ore mine over there so that we can get the Zygong steel works up and running just to speed this up a little bit I think that would be possibly to our advantage let's have a look let's let's see we've got to work on something while we're doing this so we'll first up get rid of that road there and then we go back in here and we will go with a larger road like that right well it's not gonna let me do that okay weirdly it Kind of like allows me to do that, but then oh, it's like it's trying to connect that bit in. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but anyway, that's now connected onto that road, so that's all that really matters. And then we're going to want to be able to connect onto this road so that we get to that road over there. I've got this one, this main road that comes through the Shan over to here. So I want to upgrade that one, but I want to do it with the city roads in here. And I would actually prefer to upgrade over here. Upgrade that bit there. And upgrade that bit there and then run a connection straight over to that side. So I'll get rid of this and then I'll run... Okay, that is awful. I don't really want it like that. So I'll go like that and then out of there, that one will go to that point there. And then it will go in there. So I've got that bit connected up. And then you go across this side... That road has just added in a bit extra on there for some peculiar reason. I'm not quite sure why. And I get rid of that bit. And then you will go there. Because um, I need this one. This, this has got to be connected over, isn't it? So we, we want to take you out this way. How am I going to do this? I think I do want to connect into the side of that road over there. So I want to go to about here. And then I want to connect in onto there like that. And I definitely want that sort of bridge. That's, I don't like this junction here. How else can we do it? I could take that further out so it's got... I would prefer it to go like that. It's, it's further to travel that way. Um, you got a longer bit on here. I don't like the really short junctions. They, they, they sort of detrimental a bit, I think. They, they don't work very well. So I will do that there. There's our bridge done over to there. And I've got all of the upgrades that I need. So it will be able to come out onto this main road over here. I mean, yeah, it would be good if I went straight out across here. But I, I don't need to do that. So then we go over this side, we go to buildings, we've got the truck stop, we'll do two on each side. I will do 30 meter ones, and that one I will bring round like that. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do this directly opposite here, because I've already got a junction here. So I think it would be better if we stick with the junction that we've already got. So I'll drop that one right down there like that, and then... The only other bit that I need is I need to connect in this coal mine. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.